Can you train that? Can you raise your sort of baseline dopamine level? Um, or are they two separate questions? It's a great question. I don't know that we have the answer. I think you can if you become more economical about whatever dopamine or other neurochemicals you happen to harbor inside. We know there's a lot of genetic and individual variation to these things. You know, there's a joke among parents, right? Like how they come out is how they stay. Like the, the mellow kid, the mellow baby that didn't mm -hmm. cry much. The happy baby remains the happy person. I mean, you know, there are circumstances that can alter that versus the fussy baby that's always fussy as even as an adult. You know, parents talk this way, but parents say all sorts of things. Um, but, you know, I know people, for instance, like Rick Rubin, for, for instance, who is very high energy, but very calm. It's part of Rick's magic. He knows how to regulate and control his energy. He has this uncanny capacity to get near things, in particular um, art, music, and to experience them, really feel them, but not get absorbed by it, not feel, at least to my, my knowledge, depleted by it. Some people get kind of absorbed by things and then depleted. 